What's going on, family? Man, y'all know where we are. Yeah, yeah. Got stuff like this McLaren sitting over here. Look at this, man. I wanted to get at that Mustang, but it's so old. We got new cars in and, and a lot of heat, guys. We got a lot of heat. So, but uh, we're going to focus on some uh, GM work for you guys today, all right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all see where we are, man, and we're back. Back to back to back, back, back. We don't have our mics. Again, my fault. I think I'm just, like I said, man, I may have to leave a set here for you. Yes, you're going to have to because <laughs> you're no longer responsible. Enough. <laughs> oh, my God. This thing. Yeah, you said it was loud. Yeah, I told you. I warned you. It is loud. It's very loud. It's especially loud in here, but outside I was like, this thing is still very loud. Oh my god. Things seem a little louder in here sometimes. Not this time. This is no, this loud this this, this. Yeah. So Yeah, I, I felt the reverberation mm -hmm. off my off what I was what, what I'm wearing right now. Guys, you can see I'm dressed with occasion right now. We got the black and white, white on black, bomber fiber center. This thing. It's beautiful, guys. Yep, yep, yep. Camaro ZR1. Man, what do you? ZR1. You just, you just Why did I write in on the logo and then said ZR1? I'm gonna own that. <laughs> ZL1. ZL1. It's a ZL. ZL1. One you know, LE. I'm a. Oh, it's a one LE it's too. A one LE. She's a track monster. Well. Hey man, look, I'm now I'm a car back guy. It's a so. multi-track monster because this is far from stock. Well, well, so so kind, Wait. sir. Can you share with me what sure. you know about this one? So this started life as a 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL1 1 LE. Uh huh. So it still is a ZL1 1 LE. The difference is it's also now a 1,300 horsepower built engine ZL1 1 LE. With a 377 cubic inch uh, fully built engine by J Rod Motorsports or Performance. One of the two. J Rod Performance, I think. Um, CNC. Okay. Alright, man, have a good one. See you later. CNC ported head. What? Yes. And for those people who really, 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 really wanted a drag car out of a track car, this is your kind of vibe, it's a 10 speed. So it's got a circle D oh. converter, but it is a 10 speed transmission behind a yeah, that's engine. right. That's right. And it's got upgraded converter. And uh, apparently this car ran a nine, two in the quarter mile. And that is not what it can run. It will apparently go into the eights, but you need a little bit of seat time and uh, it'll get there. 
In street trim, I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't say it's going to go eights on, like, these yeah, tires. But, and um, probably need to take that wing off the back, too. That's going to add drag. It, it went 9.2 with the drag. What? It went 9.2 with all the factory arrow on it. God! <laughs> it's always funny to see, like, I saw a video online of, like, a ZL1 Lee roll racing a Huracan, and the ZL1 was, like, pulling slightly. I'm just amazed. I'm like, the thing's got a fucking wing on it. Yeah, that amazes me. The Huracan had no, it was just a regular Huracan. I was like, dude, that guy had to been making some power to be able to pull on a Huracan with a wing. Jeez. With this wing. It's just crazy. Probably it does, over a thousand horsepower. I do have some seat time in ZL1 Win Elite. Okay. I, I had, we had a 2021. I had that out for a couple events. And I thought it was absolutely magnificent. It was actually going to be my next car. But, you know, things change and... That, that car will come later for me. Honestly, I love these cars. and um, They're growing on me. Oh, I'm going to be honest dude. with you. Camaros are starting to grow on me. I'm, you know, I'm good with my vet. And Camaros had a thing about them. More for me, um, I like that exotic feel that I get from, from the vet. This, this is giving me just this crazy muscle car thing. That's growing on me, man. Like, for real. Really growing on me. So... Well, the nice thing is, is this is one of those cars that it's like... You can get a regular ZL1, right? And that's a car... That's that's a, that's like the 911 muscle car. Right. right? That's the way it's safe. Yeah. That's, 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 that's actually the best way I was able to describe... This will upset some people, but... <laughs> that's the best way I could describe... Because I, I drove a ZL... We had a 17 ZL1, blue, manual... Had um, a tune and like an axle back Corsa. It sounded fantastic. Right. I was like, dude, the value for the money. Because at the time we were only asking sixty two. Right. And it's a manual with like, dude, th that car was like, awesome. Yeah. So, um, it was worth every penny to whoever bought that. And I hope they're still enjoying it. But um, here's the thing, that car for me, me, and maybe not for everybody. Yeah. There's something missing. Because I was like, this car is so good at everything. This to me, this is giving me like GT. And it was the other one. Yeah, it was a ZL1. It was it was GT350 handling vibes. Yeah. And but it had. It's like, a GT car. It's it, built like it a had, GT car. Right. Yeah. It had like sledgehammer Hellcat power, like Hellcat. Oh yeah, power. yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like a blend of all those things, but somehow I was like, where's the edge? There's no, there's something missing there. So it was that. So you had that thump from. Uh, it, it, that's that. Mu that's muscle car thump. Yeah. That's that muscle car yeah. torque. But that that car, it was really fast. There's no problem with power. At all. Yeah, the car is amazing. Yeah, fast. rev match was great. All that stuff. But something was missing, like characteristically. Okay. Character was missing because the yeah. GT 350. It may not be as fast, but dude, that psychotic voodoo engine. Yeah. Is just it's absolutely yeah. Punching. Yeah. And the Hellcat. That is the most possessive. Yeah. Engine. Have you ever experienced a Hellcat from driving? The yeah. Cars? Yes, I is have. What you want about the chassis? And yeah, the, and that thing is is. That, and there, I don't think there's an engine with more character than a Hellcat engine. That might no, it, there's a the reason car why car. that car is is what it is yeah. uh, today, and the reason why it it's I mean it was touted one of the you know it was actually the top muscle mm -hmm. car before GT500 came mm -hmm. and, and started stumping on things, but. Yeah. Uh, and it's earned it. It earned it. It earned every ounce of its reputation because of what it is. For something to be so heavy, yet still so responsive, is the reason why it's where it's at right now today. Right, right. So, but when I drove that regular ZL1, I was like, that something's missing. Yeah. The characteristics kind of gone. Psychotic engine, Hellcat, and then that mythical like the witching voodoo V8 yeah. GT350. So I was like, what? What could possibly pick this up? Then we got a black 1LE 2021. Yeah. Drove that car, and I'm like, I found it. It was a track. The car was too good. Yeah. The ZL1 was too you good. You needed something gritty, needed track like. Something harder. Yeah. I something edgier. Yeah. Something just that felt substantial. This car feels so substantial. God. It's, there's, it's, it's amazing. And my buddy has an Aston Martin V8 Vantage in 2007. And he had to drive the car briefly, briefly for me. He was bringing it back to me. We had a, at the time I didn't have available garage and we had a hail storm coming, hail storm coming. Mm -hmm. So I had to store the car in my buddy's garage. He brought it to me that morning um, for me. And he was like, this is <laughs> one of the most impressive American cars I've ever driven. And that was a, that was a one of <sighs> 
This is a 10 speed, and this has 1300 horsepower. This thing is probably just. Yeah. Jeez. But the 1LE adds the edge for people who think it might be missing. I think GT. I would think so. Yeah, I think GT350 is the scalpel. Yeah. Hellcats, the sledgehammer. Yeah. This is the package. Ooh. This whole thing is the package. Y'all heard it's, that? It's, it is the toolbox. Poetic, baby. It's this car does it all, honestly. Poetic. And I think the most Ooh, underrated way, it, it the is. most underrated thing about it, yeah, is how it looks. I I agree with you. You know, every time I see this thing, I feel like it's about to transform and stand up and walk out of the room. In 2017, they announced the Dodge Demon, and like the world went fucking crazy. Yeah, right? that was like crazy. Say what you want now about the Demon 170 or whatever that is, but. Um, the world went crazy. Yeah. You know what came out in 2018 also that everyone seemed to have forgotten about? The One LE. One LE. And I remember seeing a black the one LE. one for sale online, and I was like, I didn't think anyone could out-evil how evil the demon <laughs> was. This is the most evil. Oh, yeah. Demon. I think it that... crazy. And the sad part for me when it came to, like, the demon or actually the, the, the challenge as a whole... Because of, I think we just got really used to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it doesn't have the same pop to me. Not as much as it used to. No, it doesn't have the same pop to me. When you look at the front of the, the that car, granted, it, it, it still looks, it has that menacing. Got to have the right color. Mm -hmm. Got to have the right stance. Mm -hmm. Got to have the right hood, of course. Yeah, that one's up there is pretty good. Yeah. It's a lowered super stock, if anybody knows what that is. Yeah. So it's going to give you that feel. Yeah, yeah. Right? So... Under that circumstance, you don't see one of these nearly as much as Hellcats and Stat Packs. And my, my buddy Ray, he bought, he has a blue one, Ellie. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't wait to he get it out the shop because that thing is going to be ridiculous. But they are something special. They're the package, man. You said it. They're the package. It's the toolbox. That's the the way toolbox. It is. It's, it's, Sheesh. Yeah, it's, it does it all. And the cool thing about this is Some we're not pies. actually asking all that much for the amount of work that's done in this. It's got full BMR suspension. It's got the stock uh, DS, I think DSSV or D, some, something like that. Some four letter <laughs> for active suspension that comes okay. And this. This has, it's all replaced. It's BMR uh, suspension. Uh, it's got, uh, I think the front or I think the front brakes are different than stock. There's, the build list is huge, so pardon me for not really knowing. No, 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 it's okay. Off the top of my head, but it's got a Mag a Magnuson 2650 supercharger. It's ported by uh, Jokers, so it's a ported blower car. It's, I mean, it's just, it's everything. Here for me. It's in the middle. It is. Is down or up? No, down. J Rod Speed Shop. There you go. Just need a side note. Might be the funniest name for an intake I've ever seen. Is a big gulp. There big go. gulp. This is the 7 Eleven of motorsports. It's got a big <laughs> gulp intake. <laughs> Oh, well, my anyways, God. this has a considerable amount done. I mean, it, the list is just insane. I can't even spit it off the top of my head. I just know CNC ported heads, got a ported 2650 Maggie supercharger, um, different pulley. Uh, I think it's actually the stock pulley. Or the, no, that's not stock. Or not stock pulley. Well, the that's pulley the that mag. Come, that's the might, one that come with the Magnuson. Yeah. I know. There's nothing stock about this anymore. Yeah. So that would be inappropriate to say. But uh, yeah, this thing is. It's cool to modify a car. It's not the returns on investment. It's not an investment. Yeah. It's, that's people use that term for modifying cars all the time. It's not an investment unless you know it will directly benefit increasing the value of the car. When I thought when I sold my SRT, I put red seats in it, not to increase the value. It was just what I wanted. At the time, it happened to benefit me to help sell the car right. because I was the only guy in the country with it. Yes. But those are rare circumstances where modifications actually, actually the creates value. a value. So this is one of those cases where you'll never get the money back. So all the money was spent already on making this a complete Get it and drive it. So this is ready to go. You start it, you, you know, it's a turnkey race road car. 
and it's road legal. So it's that's a strange color for washer fluid. Oh, right. That's not washer fluid. That's a uh, meth. <laughs> Ooh. I was looking at the uh, lines going into the intake there. Yep. Sheesh. Damper control. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to pick a 1LE as a platform to build the drag car because you're, but, but how cool is it? It's so cool because you expect it to be on a normal ZL1. So it's like out of there. It's totally out there to do it with a car that's inherently not benefiting you to do it. Yeah. Like the body work is slowing you down. Yeah. But it's just badass. Because yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it's, I'm so badass. ZL1. I did it to the 1LE. Yeah. It's just that extra level of cool. The ZL1 1LE, a car that's supposed to be on a track, that's a course. Yeah. I'm making it fast enough to actually successfully make it down a straight track. Yeah, now you can on this one. Yeah, you have to turn it down. <laughs> you would definitely have to turn it down. All nice, all kind of nice bits and colors and lights and enhancements and the seats are gorgeous. Oh, oh my God. Let's see, my friends. That's a very familiar button. Hmm. With the noise that it makes. I can't hear anything. I'm you're sorry. <laughs> I say with the noise that it makes, uh -huh. it don't feel like that on the inside. It feels a whole lot. It's pump. great. It's solid. Yeah. That's the nice thing about like, yeah, you know, these cars are not as light as they used to be, but it actually feels like a car. Yeah. It doesn't feel like some fucking, you know, plastic rocket. It's, no. act it's an actual car. Suede, steering wheel. It's got all the creature comforts. Yeah. AC, radio. And I Navigation. I love on these stars. These seats are comfortable. Yeah. It's got a whole roll cage in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. For the record, there's no back seats in this because there's a, a roll bar back here. Oh, real seat delete. Full roll cage. Like it a is a two-seater. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Um, one of us is taking it out tomorrow to get some fuel. So I don't want to get to the point y'all can't make it there. You know what I mean? But this thing is so nice. It's super clean. Mm -hmm. Ten speed automatic. Here's the thing. You know, I'm a manual guy, and like, like if there's a manual in a car and it enhances the experience, I'll get the manual. Yeah. But. You can't argue with the performance of a 10 speed, man. No. You just cannot in this, if you're making a 1300 racing stuff in here. A lot of racing gear and things and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, yeah. It's very obvious that this car has done a lot of racing activities. Uh, I don't know if it's been that much. I think it was just kind of built and then it happened. Really? Yeah. Uh, I want to pop the back. Uh, for? I just want to see the back the hatch. Show them everything, man. This is a little bit funner to get out of than my. Uh... Oh, I forgot this is a. Uh... That's an ice tank. Yeah. Yeah. I figured it had a chiller. Yeah. Is the L1 format? So, I mean, it still gives you the feel. That chiller doesn't take up that much space. Here's a problem. This is like a good space trunk. It's not bad. No, it's not. <laughs> The entry is... It's shit. horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely horrible. Like, putting a suitcase in this wouldn't be fun. No. You can no, get no. it in there. Oh, yeah, but... It's going, you know, you're going to have to play a game of Tetris to get it in there. Yeah. And Twister at the same time, but... I don't know. This car for fucking suitcase. No, it's not. That's my point, right? So, come on. And if just, you decide to put a couple of bags of groceries in there. I just throw in the, you know, on the passenger seat. Or 
on that back that back deck area because it's it's deleted. So I mean, it's not like it doesn't have space. Oh look. Yeah, you're not getting anything back there. You put something back there too far, you're not getting it back. The other one it does belongs to the car. <laughs> the passenger seat does go back, though. So you could oh, there you go. The so there is space there. It's God. not as accessible as before, but hey, you'd rather have safety than, you know. I think the rears are aftermarket. The rear wheels? Brakes. <laughs> I think you might be correct. Those yeah. are probably that. That, de that definitely looks the like the... Those are the stock. The yeah. rear brakes are different. So we have the rear stock brakes that come with it too. So okay. we have all the stock parts. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's got the full BMR suspension and this thing's ready to go. Right here for you guys. You heard the numbers. And, and going to do a little bit different format, guys. So I'm going to make sure that the phone number is on the screen and we're going to alternate. It would be... Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to put it at the bottom. You should see it at the bottom. So we should have it down at the, on the right-hand side at the bottom of the screen. So you'll see it. And we'll make sure that we advertise the number and the address, I mean the email address, uh, website, excuse me, for the shop so that you guys can see it. Don't forget the information also. All the information about this car is down in the details, along with a link so you can see any other stuff that I didn't add because it's probably a long list. Mm -hmm. um, this is way too long in the list for me to even talk about. I don't even remember. Dude, there's just so much. There's yeah. so much stuff. But the listing took me a while. Let's just say that much. Then ultimately, um, going to, of course, going to the website gives you an opportunity to see all the other things that are available for sale at Illinois Motors. So don't hesitate to give them a shout. Don't hesitate to go in, give them a call. Go look at the website, do some inquiries, and don't forget to let them, swole, let them know that Swole sent you. And, uh, man, maybe we can find something for you. If you can't find something here that you like, who wants a side-by-side? -side? It's right there. I'm just saying. Side-by-side. -side, that is for sale. Sitting side-by-side -side by Viper mm -hmm. and a GT500. That's cheap. Come think, on, man. It's like 14 grand, I think. There you go. Side-by-side, -side, 14K. And it sounds very, very good. <laughs> guys come on now y'all know how we do man this place is filled with things that are beyond the norm got a mclaren just kind of chilling right there you know why you don't do the normal man come on man we don't do the normal around here guys why is that man we were designed from greatness like this thing this thing the it's toolbox <laughs> the toolbox because we were designed from greatness, guys, you have the right, the responsibility, the authority to never, ever, ever be average. So, guys, don't be average. Yeah. What you heard earlier was only 2,000 RPM from me Young and him. This, this has a soft limiter. So these revs, I'll give you a couple of 4,000. Doesn't sound like much, but in here it's quite <laughs>